Hello guys, so let's move on to build some more controls around this area. Now what you want to make is a open close controller. Okay. Uh, so that can be uh, you know derived from the controller we have here already. So let me grab the AC left eye GRP and control D to duplicate it. Okay. And um, I'm gonna name this guy to left upper eyelid. And then just name whatever in here also. This is a locator. And this is the group. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change it a little bit. Need to make it a little bit smaller. Go to component mode and grab these guys. And maybe these guys. Flatten them and drag them up. Okay, so that's the upper eyelid. And then I can control D to duplicate that group. I'm rotated 90 degrees, actually 180 degrees to flip it. Uh, that's going to be my lower eyelid. Okay. So I can do a uh, search and replace name. Let's search for upper and replace with lower. There is a Aki handle duplicated also. That was the Aki handle for the eye, eye control. Um, it's this guy we're duplicating from. That's the IK applied from the first joint to the second joint of the eye, which is how we drive the eyeball, right? Okay, so for those two things, uh, we can then parent those two things to the eye controller here. That way we have this controller and we have the these two, okay, uh, to, to control it, <laughs> okay. Um, I can also make them just a bit smaller that way it's not that easy to you know having trouble select that or that or that okay uh, so now with those two controllers created we need to then set up controls right so the controls will be first of all open and close the eyelid okay and that's going to be blend shape on those two surfaces all right so let me grab the top one I go to shape editor and go ahead and create a blend shape and call this guy upper eyelid blend shapes uh, we can also type in ribbon blend shapes that way it's more clear and let me add a target and call this guy open <laughs> okay and then what I do is just basically opening it more. So I'm going to grab all those guys. Uh, if it's, it's easier, we can also say show none and just show polygons and nervous surfaces and nervous uh, CVs. Right? That way we can just grab these guys, make a big soft selection, right? And then open the eye. I can go a bit more exaggerated, okay? Because you don't know if the animator want to push that far. I, I just don't want it to limit that, but they know where to stop, I guess. All right, so here um, I'm gonna go create another target, and this time it's gonna be close, right? And I'm gonna drag it down uh, to close the eye. You can see I do have some waiting issue. Uh, that's going to be something we tweak after we have the controls. That way it's easier to just keyframe, keyframe the controller, right, and then try to fix it. Okay. Uh, All right, so that's close, open, and close, right. Just do the same thing for the lower eyelid. I'm going to grab the surface here at the target. Actually not there, add the blend shape first. Uh, this time it's gonna be the lower eyelid ribbon, of course, so lower. Add the target and then open. And opening for the lower eyelid, we can just grab that and then drag it down and drag it in because it's, it's following a curve, right? Around the eyeball, a surface of a ball, right? So it's not going to be just going down, it's also going to uh, needs to go in. Right. Uh, 
All right, cool. So that's gonna be that. And then one more, right, for close. Okay, make it bigger, drag it up. The lower eyelid doesn't really, is not capable of going all the way up, so you don't have to push it. Uh, but I guess for some cartoony character, maybe you want. So it's, it's up to the project sometimes. Oh, I mean to the character, up to the character. All right. Okay, so we have the open close for the lower eyelid also. Maybe just push this guy forward just a little bit. All right, so now it's time to set up our controls. Uh, you have multiple options here. You can either do connection or you can do set driven key. Um, I do have a little helper function here in my code. In the very bottom, uh, we have this advanced connection. So you can also use it. So what it does is, if I show the nervous curves, what it does is you just grab the controllers you want to use, right? And then you grab the attribute you want to use, which is translation Y in this case. You put it in there. So that's connect from. The connect to will be the blend shape. So let me grab the um, upper eyelid blend shape, select the blend shape node, and grab the open here, and then put it in there. Okay. So it's going to connect the translation Y to the open. Uh, it's also going to ask, do you want to go use positive, positive values or the negative values to connect? I'm going to choose positive, right? Because going up is positive here. And then apply connection. What it does now is going to automatically use the positive values from 0 to 1 to connect to the not from zero to one, but you know, uh, at least in that range, it's making that connection. Okay. The good thing about this this little script uh, is that it doesn't really go to the negative direction if you don't have negative uh, selected here. So that's when we need to use ne negative now here. If we go select blend shape again, and for the close, right, we wanted to use negative and make connections. Now you can see. As a negative direction just goes right it doesn't limit how far it goes so you can go beyond the value here but oftentimes as riggers we would set up that limitation here in the translation so we would do it here anyways so let me go ahead and check those guys on right and then say zero 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 uh negative one yeah zero 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 here okay so that way our controller are only being able to move that up and down ways, but no other ways. Okay. All right. So that's basically the open close control uh, for the upper eyelid, and for the lower eyelid, we can just do the same thing. So let me do that real quick. Let go. Select the blend shape node. Right, and then the open goes to there. The controller goes to there. We're going to go positive again because I rotated it. So that direction is positive for open. Uh, this is, that's, that's for the consistency of those two values. The positive value always means the open, right? We go ahead and apply connections. Okay. And then I'm going to go grab the close and negative, apply connection. Okay. That's all I have to do. Now, if I go do that, you can see I'm, it's doing the same. Okay. Again, I'm going to check out the limitations to not allow it to go further. All right. So how this works is how this code works is basically creating a bunch of nodes to uh, isolate the values, the positive and negative values uh, by using a clamp. Okay, so what if we go out and take a look at what's going on? Grab the the blend shape. Oops. Here. And take a look at the input output. You can see the controller is doing a multiplication and then this multiplication is that uh factor is trying to say if I wanted to use one to represent 30 degrees of rotation, you can also do that over here and clamp the negative directions, right? And then use that to 
be the negative value and that connected to the close and that's the positive okay so that means when you're going positive the negative wouldn't care uh, this one the, the that that's the negative one it doesn't care because um it's clamping it to you know that negative values and basically reverse the value to a positive value and use that in the close okay so very simple node construction here to do that okay so it's not super complicated but it's faster right uh, if you do that with your you know from scratch it's just going to take more time so you can build those smaller scripts to help you uh, enhance the workflow all right so this is going to be our second video to make open close eye controls all right, so let's stop the video now and moving on to the next.